One more and then I'm done. I say that to give you a little light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, give you a little hope. <laughs> Verse 10. Now this is Paul the Apostle talking. Now keep in mind what we've said so far. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 10. What we've said is, By grace you're saved, through faith, that not of yourselves, it's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And then, because we're saved, because we have His life on the inside of us, because we have a changed life, He then says, We are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works God hath before ordained. It's an outgrowth or a, an outflow. And nobody can define it for you. It's just what, like Zacchaeus. He just came up with that on his own, didn't he? Zacchaeus. He just, that was out of his own heart of, of gratefulness to the Lord. You know, that's not a, a rule for everybody. That was just Zacchaeus. You know, that was a good thing that flowed out of his own changed life. Now look at what Paul says. He has just got through saying that, well, let's back up and get them. Verse 5. And he was seen of Cephas, that's Peter, and then of the twelve. And he was seen of about 500 brethren at once. Uh, that's recorded, by the way, at the end of Matthew's Gospel when he said, Go into all the world and preach the Gospel to every creature. Paul knew that story, had heard that. Of whom the greater part remained to this present, but some were fallen asleep. In other words, they've died. After that, he was seen of James, and then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also, as one born out of due time. And I am the least of the apostles, and not meet or not appropriate to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church. Paul is saying, I'm in this crowd too, but I'm the last of all. And in one way, I'm not, it's not even appropriate for me to be an apostle, because I'm not like them. I persecuted them. But look at what he says now, verse 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. You see, we could all say the same thing too. That's what he meant when he said in Ephesians 2.10, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus. By the grace of God, I am what I am. By the grace of God, Zacchaeus was what he was after he received Jesus. By the grace of God, you are the person that you are. Each one of us is unique. And his grace was not bestowed upon me in vain. But look at this. After, in the light of that fact, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Now, Paul puts it in the right perspective. He's saying, you know, if you want to talk about work, he said, I could say that I labored more than all the rest of them put together. But in reality, he says, it wasn't even me. It was the grace of God. It was God's life in me. It was the grace of God with me. You see, that puts it in the right perspective. That puts it in the right attitude. It's all about God. It's all about God's grace. And by His grace, I am whatever I, what is, whatever I am. It's because of His grace, because I'm His workmanship. And the work that I do and whatever I do as a result of that, well, you know what that is? That's just God's grace working with me. And I think that's a beautiful thought. That doesn't put you in a straitjacket and make everybody like a robot and everybody's got to do the same thing. Everybody just walks with the Lord and however He works in your life, you're His workmanship too. And we just walk with Him and let His life flow through us. And whatever it is, that's what it is. Amen. Okay, let's all stand up today.